If you really wanna elevate, you gotta separate from what's bringing you down. Break the shackles off your mind and lead and make sure if you wanna get your feet off the ground. I'm praying that my people start repenting and stop being wicked. I ain't letting you down. Shalom, Makai, y'all but I can call by Shem, y'all was shy. Shalom. Shy All right, we gonna uh, go into wisdom a little bit uh, real quick. So the first script on is Wisdom of Solomon. The Apocrypha chapter one, and I'm gonna go in. Uh, I'm gonna just do one verse uh, four through. I'm gonna do four through six. Let's go. So it says, uh, verse four: For into a malicious soul, wisdom shall not enter, nor dwell in the body that is subject to sin. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. And remove from thoughts that are without understanding, bro. You know, can we get that real quick? Yeah, you know, you know, I'm, you know what I'm thinking about no. talking about how uh, you get wisdom from the with uh, understanding from the Most High. Okay, I think it's in. I think it's in Sarah. Which one you want? You talking about that? Keep the commandments. Con, con. You want wisdom? No, no, not that. Um, it's talking about uh, you get understanding from the Most High. I think I got it. Give me one second. Uh, <clears throat> I, I think it's in a regular book. You might be talking about Deuteronomy good. four and six. Maybe. Let me see. It says uh, Deuteronomy four and six. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and understanding Con, in the Con. sight of the nations. Yeah. Con, so it's talking about to do the commandments, you know, and that's how you get um, how you get that understanding and wisdom. <laughs> Right, and I'll read that again. It says, For the Holy Spirit of wisdom will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. So, once again, if you you get that understanding by keeping the commandments, because you only given wisdom by keeping the commandments, and we can, we can grab that real quick. That's um, Sirach chapter 1, verse 26. If Thou desire wisdom, keep the commandments, and Yahweh shall give her unto thee. You want to grab uh, Psalms 111 and 10 real quick? <clears throat> All right, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 111, verse, verse 10. Okay. The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. So the beginning, so like the beginning of wisdom, you have to fear the Most High. You, you have to fear the Most High and, and fear Him. You're gonna do what He says to do, which is keep the commandments. Go ahead. A good understanding have all they that do His commandments. So you get a good understanding by doing the commandments, and it says wisdom will flee from those that were without understanding. So if you get understanding by doing the commandments. And wisdom comes from you keeping the commandments. Because it said the most I would give her unto you. You have to keep the commandments to get understanding and wisdom. Okay. Right. What do you say? The law is spiritual too, man. Which is uh, the spirit of the most high. You know, that wrote those laws down for us. God, God. Which is the spirit of truth. God has said you have to worship in spirit and in truth. Yep. And the truth is what it says. Uh, the law. All right. It said... Um, now let's just get it right. Nah, let me get this one real quick, brother, if you don't mind. Go ahead, bro. Because we know that the uh the truth is the most highest word. Get Psalms 119, 142. But let me hit this real quick. This John 16 and 13. How be it when he, the spirit of truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. But Read he, that again. How be it when the spirit of truth, spirit is, of truth. is come, he will guide you into all truth. For, uh -huh. he, for he shall not speak of himself, but who, whatsoever he, he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you the things to come um the way the truth and the light right, right. <laughs> which which really is talking about you know those those prophecies that's written in in in, in uh the word of god man the, the torah which Kai. is which is the instructions Kai, it's, it's all like it's talking about yahweh shah too yeah the word Kai, Kai. go ahead bro yeah <clears throat> all right this is the book of psalms chapter 119 verse 142 thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness all right and thy law is the truth. God, so if the law is the truth and it says you must worship him in spirit and in truth, like it was brought 
I brought out one before. He's saying you have to serve him in the law and the law because the law is spiritual and the law is the truth. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm. You a double dose. <laughs> Mm. Hey, what he say? Hey, put on a double garment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to finish yeah, in uh, verse 5, uh, chapter 1, Wisdom of Solomon. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding. So if you're not keeping the commandments, it'll flee from you. And will not abide when unrighteousness cometh in and it says in uh Deuteronomy 6 and 25 this should be our righteousness if we keep the commandments huh. uh, verse 6 for wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words for the most high is witness of his reigns and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue so the most high keep an account hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, what it say by the by the words you be justified, and by the words you be condemned, right? Okay. So I want to go over here uh, with that to a uh, Sirach chapter ten, uh, verse eighteen and nineteen, because you know you can't get wisdom with a spirit of pride, and you cannot uh, get understanding with a spirit of pride. Because if you're being prideful you're not going to be obedient because you're going to be wanting to lean on your own understanding. Even with people trying to lean on the understanding of the law, they could still be prideful, boasting themselves, acting like they're better than other brothers, or I know more than you, or what the brother say, I'm thankful I'm not like other men. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The gospel, yeah. the so, the Pharisee. <laughs> nah. So, verse 18, um, says pride was not made for men or furious anger for them that are born of a woman they that fear yahweh right to say what it say the uh say the beginning of wisdom is to fear the most high all right it say that that fear yahweh are a sure seed so you got you know you a sure seed you are of the most high if you fear him right hey what do you say uh to give diligence to make your calling an election sure uh, uh. That short seed, man. Say, and they that love him in honorable seed, right? So what it say, if you love me, keep my commandments, right? Respect. Respect. So <laughs> you're honorable. You're honoring the most high. You're honorable to the most high <clears throat> when you're keeping the commandments. They that regard not the law mm. are a dishonorable seed. So you dishonor the most high by not keeping the commandments. They that transgress the commandments are deceitful. See, so that means when you know the commandments and you still go against them, you're being a deceivable seed now, right? And and we can go back back here real quick. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 5 said, For the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit. Hmm. So if you're going against the commandments on purpose, that says you're a deceivable seed. And um in Sirach uh, 10 and 19, right? Say so you are a deceivable seed. You know, and I want to go to this real yeah, quick. Yeah, man. And, and that's like, ahead, bro. that's real though, bro, because, um, you know, the, the scriptures tell you clearly the law is supposed to be in our inward parts. And if okay. it's not in there, you're dealing with deception. Because uh, in uh, witchcraft, <laughs> you know. The, right. law, the law tell you right from wrong, man, clearly. Like, you know, it's not okay to be a homosexual, not right, okay right. to disrespect your parents. You know, the simple laws. And this, this man, it's crazy. This goes so good, right? Like, we're talking about in verse 18 of Sirach 10. 18, it talks about pride. Then in the very next verse, it goes into how you're righteous according to the Most High and how you're not righteous according to the Most High. Because... Once again, in 18, is mentioning pride. It's talking about pride. And then in 19, it says, They that fear the most high shore seed, that they love him in honorable plant. They that regard not the law of this honorable seed, that they transgress the commandments of the seed seed. Now you go, so it's mentioning pride right there with going against the most high, right? And like you read, um, one, uh, Sirach 1 and 30 says, Exhort not thyself, be not prideful, right? Because that's what you do when you're prideful. 
It says, lest thou fall and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And what it say? A dishonorable seed, right? When you're not keeping the command. When you not when you are not the law. You dishonorable. Lawless. <laughs> right? It said, and bring dishonor upon thy soul. And the most high discover thy secrets and cast thee down in the midst of the congregation because uh that because thou camest not yeah, in true. the fear of Yahweh, but thy heart was full, full of, of deceit. deceit. Yeah. Bro, you see that though. Mm -hmm. So if you come in, but like you have the commandments, and let's say, for instance, you up here, you teaching, you teaching, but you're not keeping the commandments yourself. Mm -hmm. So he said, at that point, you a deceivable seed because you you really only deceiving yourself because mm -hmm. you can't deceive the Most High. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's that's my uh, <laughs> reading for the day. Be not deceivable, you know. Deceivable don't be seed. don't be deceivable by transgressing the laws on purpose. Don't be dishonorable by not regarding the law. But you know, be you know that honorable plan. You know what I'm saying? God. And you know, do what the Most High. You know, do what the Most High say, man. That's the only way all these things being obedient. God. And even and you know, from my walk, that I learned lately, even if you don't understand something, just be diligent with the Most High and wait and be patient like I say one to you who have lost <laughs> patience you know what I mean and uh what will you do when that time come right so you gonna be diligent with the most high be patient with the most high be patient with us and just wait for him to reveal things and know that uh his time frame is different from ours and it may take him a couple years to reveal something to you but just not to give up on him and not to lose patience. That's, that's facts, bro. Yeah. And I got a scripture that goes with that, to be honest. Talk, talk, bro. But, um, it's in the pocket for us, it's a rock. Um, you got it? You didn't get it? Um, I don't know off the head. It might be like 40-something, but it's talking about when the great Lord will, he, he'll be filled with the spirit of wisdom. Mm. You know, when the Most High, you know, answer that prayer, you know, which you got to be patient for. Even if you don't understand something, you know what I'm saying? You, you, sometimes you got to just pray on it and be patient right, right. until the Lord reveal it. <laughs> and you also got to seek it like treasure too, man. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He said, uh, you know, you search him, you, uh, you, you serve him and uh, seek him with all your heart. The most I say, he'll let you find him. Let me, let me get this real quick if I can. I know we, uh, <laughs> but this Sirach chapter two, and this, man, this, this one right here is like so important for real. I'm going to start at verse one. It said, my son, if thou come to serve Yahweh, prepare thy soul for temptation. So we know prepare mean, you know, <laughs> to, you know, it means to get yourself ready ahead of time. Like if you prepare for the Shabbat, you know what I'm saying? You get things in order the day before so he's saying prepare for what is to come you know temptation gonna come so prepare you know fast and pray and have foresight you know what i'm saying to to be able to see things before they come so you can prepare like we know the shabbat coming before it come that's why we prepare right so you know you just gotta be able to see you know have your spiritual eye on you know see on um get to understand how hasha time move and you know you'll be able to see and dodge them, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what he said, don't be ignorant of Satan's <laughs> devices, man. You know, be ignorant of Satan's devices, man. But uh, verse 2 says, Set thy heart right and constantly endure. And that's what I was just talking about. And make not haste in time of trouble. So when you feeling like things is too heavy for you, you feel like it's trying to trouble you when you don't understand yeah. something. So he says, when that time comes, don't make haste, but constantly endure. You know what I'm saying? Don't give up, man. And it says, cleave to the most high and depart not away that thou yeah. mayest be increased, increased in thy last land. Yeah, that's and right. said, whatsoever is brought upon thee, say cheerfully now, bro. This is so heavy right here, bro. Because whatsoever, look, man, this means anything, right? Let's say you lost your job, you don't know what to do. Don't go all crazy, you know, uh, worrying yourself to death because it said what will worry and get you. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, if you're going through problems in a relationship, 
don't let don't you know whatever take it cheerfully don't let it drive you crazy because we know that the man of the most high are put through various things in order because that's how we know who he is child because he chastens you know what i'm saying like my brother brian say shout out to brother brian you know what i'm saying um that he chastens who he loves man and if you going if your life is just smooth then like my brother brian say you need to be worried because the most high chastens the people that he care about like it's just not no smooth walk if they hate it yeah how a shy they gonna hate us also like the scripture say and I mean, yeah. you know we have to really just be patient and endure and lean on the most highs understanding because that's when that comes when you don't understand something you should you uh could start to lean on your own understanding trying to figure out why is this happening why is that happening but we are thinking it's not high as the most highs like the scriptures say uh -huh. so we have to just be patient and understand that we children to the most high just like our children don't understand everything we're doing we can't understand everything the most high doing and it's crazy that he brings that all that stuff back to my remembrance because I've spoken <laughs> that before. <Hey. laughs> what he said, he said, acceptable men are accepted in the uh, furnace of adversity. Mm. Uh, come on. So, man, I got you right here. That's person. part of uh, master, right, mastering yourself, man. You got to master, you know, that bad energy, man, and overcome it. Uh, come on. Verse 5 say, for gold is tried in the in the fire, an acceptable man right. in the furnace of there adversity. There go, brother. <laughs> go, Believe in him, and he will help thee. Uh -huh. Order thy way aright and trust in him. And I was saying this to one of my brothers, man, a couple of days ago. Everything goes back to faith, right? There has not been a time in the history of the Bible where faith was not in place. Like, yeah, like I was even thinking about Noah. Like they said, they had never rained where Noah was, right? Mm -hmm. So this man had to believe what he heard in order to even take them steps. Like I say, faith without works is dead. So you have to prove your faith by your works. So he proved that he believed by going through what the Most High told him to do. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Even with Abraham when he was about to kill his son. That boy dripping, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it all it really it really does all go back to faith. Even with Job, his hey. his wife told him to curse God and die. Hey, what what the scripture say uh, <laughs> the the just shall live by faith. You know what I mean? So it all it all goes back to faith. Faith is not a new thing, you know. I think a lot of people Try to push faith so much more in the New Testament or the so-called New Testament, bro. It's everything you know, that's it's, it's in the Old Testament. It's all in there, bro. It's, it's the same book. <laughs> you know, faith is in, definitely in. Uh, it says the just shall live by faith. <laughs> you know. Yeah, you know I, I don't want to take too long. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go down to verse 13. It says, "Whoa, uh, no, I'm gonna start at uh, 12." It says. It says for it's a, I'm so like <laughs> woe be to fearful hearts and faint hands and the sinner that goeth two ways. Woe unto him that is faint hearted for he believe not. Hmm. Therefore shall he, he not, not be, be defended. defended. And it says, you know, um what it say you it's can't a, even please it's, it's impossible. impossible to please the most high without faith. It's impossible, man. Impossible. You hear that word? <laughs> it's impossible. It's impossible, bro. impossible man. <laughs> and that goes into believing in yourself and all that, man. Like you gotta believe, man. You know? You can't even do better for yourself until you believe in yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Tom, for real, for real, man. You you even you have to love you have to love yourself because if, if you don't just the facts, man, if you don't have some type of love for yourself, it's it's impossible to love the most high. Just like to say, um, how can you say you love the most high who you can't see when you don't love your brother who you can see? You know what I mean? So, like, if you don't love yourself, you can't love your brother. So if you can't love yourself, then you can't love the most high. It's impossible because that means you're not even going to love your brother. Yeah, you can't love nobody unless you love yourself, man. <laughs> and and this is, and I want to speak on this, too. If... If you see a brother going through something where he don't, where he's showing that he don't love himself, like maybe he, you, that's why I say you got to know those who you labor amongst because sometimes you got to be able to tell, okay, I know my brother usually move like this, but he moving different now, so maybe I need to check on him because, you know, you can have brothers maybe even having suicidal thoughts and don't nobody know, but you can tell 
that something's wrong with the way they act and, you know, be moved through the spirit to, you know, check on that brother. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes people don't want to speak on things that they might feel embarrassed or anything. So you got to be able to know, okay, let me see what's going on with that brother. You know what I mean? That's that experience talking, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's real though, bro. Like, uh, you know, uh. we definitely need that, man. And it's just communication, really. Uh, you know, man, being able to, praise, you bro. Know, <laughs> to have that discernment. Because Jake definitely need that, man. You know, especially, you might not know a brother is going through that. Yeah. You know, that's why the scriptures speak about exhorting one another and all daily. that and uh, daily and uh, really we got to encourage each other man the scriptures speak about encourage each other and, and strengthening your bro your brother man we supposed to be all trying to better ourselves in, in, in uh, positiveness man you know spiritually and physically man love yourself uh, I love y'all man definitely do mm -hmm. and that means as far as what you eating as well, don't the just food, be all that junk right. food the all day. You know what I'm saying? Don't be eating flaming hot to the soda all day, huh? And they got the, they got, they got the Swiss rolls, huh? <laughs> got a nice right. star crunch. You go to you go to work and you eating Twinkies, drinking <laughs> Papa Lunch. <laughs> yeah, man. You know, wonder why the meat's going giving out and all that, man. You know, we gotta we gotta heal our bodies, man, and yeah, man. get back to the you know the ancient way, especially dealing with these herbs, the man, and uh, these vegetables, man. Cause uh, what do you say? Uh, there's no riches above a sound body, man. Uh, uh, yeah. You know that go into loving yourself too. Cause a lot of our our women don't really even know how to love themselves. They all out of shape and not taking care of themselves, and that's why they're miserable. Cause that stuff puts a miserable spirit on you. Mm -hmm. Got to get yourself together, all of us, man. Uh, uh. And that health, that you know, like they say, uh. Look good, feel good, man, you know. <laughs> I don't know, my stomach pour out a little bit. I'm yeah, like, man. well, hold on, we gotta do something. Because <laughs> uh, all that stuff is stress, man. And we, we trying to avoid all that nonsense, unnecessary stress. Uh, so, but yeah, uh, that was the end of my, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to say shalom, y'all, y'all, shalom, y'all, shalom, y'all, shalom, y'all, I want to say, uh, like a dash, man. <laughs> oh, you got it? <laughs> no, no, I'll just say, you got it, you got it, brother. Walk hard, man. Come on, come on. I'm going to praise, man. All right. Shalom. Shalom.